Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a foundation review and today I'm going to be reviewing the Jasmine Life's a Beach Skin Tint. And we will also be demoing this product. I'm wearing it now, as well as swatches and reviewing. So Jasmine Beauty is obviously a new indie brand that has beauty with a cause. So a portion of the proceeds are donated to research for diabetes. The company has a really great cause and story and the owner herself has diabetes. So you guys should definitely check out the website. I'll link it down below if you want to find out more information. This here is $26 and you can find it exclusively on jasminebeauty.com. So this does have about 16 shades currently. That's what they're starting out with. And they do offer after pay if you guys want to do installment payments, which is pretty awesome because we're all trying to save some coins in this pandemic. So I'm just going to read the description very quickly with you guys. Um, this is a mineral enriched skin tint that boosts your natural radiance and promotes healthy luminous skin through a deep water sea deep water sea <laughs> through a deep sea water complex. This basically helps to boost radiance within the skin if you want more glowy skin and luminosity. So this has natural plant extracts that soothe and restore your complexion, which I do agree with. I do feel like I have seen a bit of a difference with my skin, which is awesome because typically makeup isn't that great for your skin, but as long as you take it off correctly, it's okay. And depending if you might be allergic to some ingredients. In addition, it's formulated with blue light reflecting ingredients to reduce skin damage and inflammation. Hold on one second, because I need to Google what that means. I feel a little slow. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry. I'm slow as hell. Basically, blue light damage is from your phone. You can get skin damage from the light coming from your phone, probably TVs, computers. So what? Comment down below if you've ever heard of that, because I've never. This light to medium coverage formula restrains from harsh ingredients, does not clog your pores, and maintains a hydrated finish. I love saying this, but this is basically Jesus in a tube. And speaking of tube, I love the packaging. It is like very just, I don't know. It's not a glass bottle. It's, it's obviously a plastic bottle. And it has a pink pump, which is extremely cute. I love, and it's super easy to use. You only need half to one pump to do your face, honestly. And then on the back, it does say cruelty-free, gluten-free, and it's vegan for all you vegans out there. But I am excited if they do extend to deeper shades. And then lastly, you guys, I'll just go over like a few key ingredients that they have in here that's on their website. Like I said, link in the description. You can go check that out for yourself as well, but it does does have, like I said, SPF 31, which protects against the UVA and UVB rays. It also has deep sea water, which on the website, it says it's mineral rich to soothe and strengthen skin barrier. It also has green tea leaf extract, which they say helps to reduce redness, calms irritated skin, and prevents clogged pores. Lastly, you guys, it has hyaluronic acid, which of course is anti-aging and moisturizes as well as willow bark extract, which is something I've never heard of, but that contains salicylic acid to help fight off acne. All right, you guys, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch some of the shades on my chest area. So this is Wipeout Beach. And I just want to tell you guys very quickly that my face is a bit lighter than my body. So if that's how, if that's why it's translating a little light on camera, that's why. The way that I'm tapping it in right now is making it pretty full coverage. But I just want you guys to see, this is literally what I have on my face. You can see how well it blends to my neck once you finish the whole makeup. But this is basically my skin tone on my face right now. This one is medium deep, but with golden undertones. And that's why it's working for me because of the golden. This next shade is called Royal Palms Beach. This is tan with a neutral undertone. This next shade is called Surfside Beach. And this is a tan shade with peach undertones. Look how beautiful. I mean, I hope you guys can see the difference in undertones on camera, but in person, 
wow like the variety and undertones is really amazing all right guys and then the last shade i'm gonna swatch on me is called peninsula beach which is tan with warm undertones Ugh, why do i say it like that <laughs> these are the shades comment down below what you think i think this looks very good now that we got all that information out of the way i'm gonna go ahead and skip over to the demo portion and you guys can see the application of this beautiful product. So off camera, I just went ahead and did my eyes and prepped my skin with primers. I have no spot concealing on my face. As you can see, I'm going through some hormonal acne. It's um, just clearing up. Even right here, I got some texture from like, you know, acne turning into scabs. I'm gonna be applying this with two different tools. Of course, on one side, I'm gonna use a sponge and on the other, I'm gonna use a brush. I'm gonna hydrate my face again with this Wet n Wild um, face mist. I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the sponge side. Um, which side? We'll just do this side. So you can see, I hope you guys can see on camera, I have like a little like scab and dark marks from acne. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin to apply this. So guys, this is with one very thin layer. And you can see that it's basically covered up a lot of my discoloration, like redness, uneven skin tone. This is just from one thin layer. So this is extremely buildable. You can spot, uh, conceal with it, whatever you want. And this, mind you, has SPF and it's just really blowing my mind how it don't look ashy. I don't know, that's never happened with me before <laughs> with the SPF product. So that's why I just really love this. You're getting really good skin care ingredients. And it is like a satin luminous finish, you guys can see. So it's not overly like, it's not overly hydrating like some foundations where you feel kind of oily. Your skin still feels and looks like skin and that's literally their purpose of this product. This is how my face looks without any makeup on the skin very natural and then this is the side with the skin tint and as you can see it looks extremely natural it blends to my neck and it complements my undertones very well i'm just gonna go on the other side with the brush but especially with the hyaluronic acid you guys whoa this is a lot more full coverage than um using the brush the hyaluronic acid in here is gonna help to keep your skin hydrated if you struggle with dry skin. Um, so that way, like a lot of hydrating products aren't typically full coverage, but you guys, the fact that this is full coverage and it's hydrating and your skin still looks luminous and you're getting SPF, that is everything you need in life. The way that this lays on the skin it feels like it's gonna be able to cater to almost all skin types from young to old because a lot more mature skin is typically dry and this is something that even people with mature skin can wear and i know my mom loves this product and she doesn't have any issues with the dry patches or grabbiness it looks completely skin like so i really love that about this product and that is why this is typically my go-to for the summertime because I don't always remember to slather on SPF on my face or I'll start my makeup and be like, damn, I forgot to put on SPF. But with this, it's already in there and it's a very high amount, so you'll be protected. And that's why I like to even drag it down my neck still a bit. But yeah, you guys, what do you think? This is one layer with the brush. And as you can see, I'm still getting that luminosity, that glow. It's just like a glow from within type of look, and I love that. So I'm just gonna take a little more with the brush. Uh, and honestly, both sides look like damn near the same to me. So that pretty much just shows that you can use any type of tool you want with, even your hands. You can spread this and massage it in. With the sponge, it is a little bit more sheer because obviously sponges soak up excess product. So I'm just gonna take some on the brush and go over the area where I have a little bit of 
still darkness peeking through on this side and look you guys just with a few dabs on the brush or even your finger you can tap it in it is covering so that is pretty dang crazy like i didn't even do any spot concealing and look at my skin it looks like i did so many steps that i just like basically skipped so <laughs> This is a really great foundation because it's, I just love medium to buildable coverage because some days I want to be lighter, some days I want to go a little heavier. I'm even going to be a little crazy. Take a little product and dab on that scab I have over here just for some more coverage and see what happens. Oh yeah, that's that's literally perfect. It's not grabbing weird onto the scab at all. So that is really, really cool that this product is able to function like that. Most thicker products, especially like foundations and that are full coverage will, you know, tend to cling onto dry patches and look super dry and just emphasize those problems. So I really love that this product does not emphasize problems and it enhances your skin. So I went ahead and finished my makeup off camera and this is how we are looking. I know I said something natural and honestly off camera, um, I just finished up the bottom of the eyes and smoked it out a bit just to show you that you guys can wear this for nighttime as well or like a glam look just so you can see how the foundation looks with the eye makeup and with all of my other products that i usually use when i'm typically doing my face they all worked very very well with the foundation i don't see anything weird happening everything looks good i will insert a clip on how it looks in the sunlight because clearly we're inside with the studio lights and you guys as you can see the foundation looks so amazing so skin like and you can see a subtle glow so that's what i meant by a satin finish but with a radiance because throughout the day your face does produce some oils some more than others mine it's pretty normal it feels good it doesn't even feel like i'm wearing a foundation and you guys saw how thick the consistency of the product is and it just doesn't even feel like i have anything on so it's extremely weightless i'm just gonna go ahead and wear this throughout the day it is currently 5 14 p.m so i will do a check in later on tonight it might be vlog style just so i don't have all this equipment around <laughs> in the common area and mind you i have tested this out prior within a few months so i already know that i like it but just to show you guys how it looks after wearing it for a few hours um i just want you guys to see like how nice this product actually is and the wear that it gives throughout the day i don't have anywhere to go to be honest um i do need to run out to like walgreens really quick but mostly gonna be like around the house cleaning up doing some work on the computer so yeah i'll check back in with you guys in a couple hours hey guys so the time is around 1 a.m and it is really late hours later but this is how the makeup looks right there so it's still very you can see the radiance of the skin it's not like wet oily nothing it just looks moisturized like healthy hydrated you see the shine right here on my cheek a little shiny but i have highlight too the nose i didn't touch anything you guys that's why i hate putting black eyeliner right here it always runs that's why i'd never wear eyeliner in my waterline but yeah my i creased around my mouth totally normal always happens but look at my skin it's still kind of matte in some places because like i said i'm normal combo but yeah my forehead looks radiant didn't touch up with any powder and the makeup looks so nice so yeah you guys it's a pretty good foundation i recommend you try it out and it's for a good cause so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video i'm so tired i'm gonna go to bed um but i will see you guys in the next video bye